almost finished this run now. There we go. 7.8 kilometers. Isn't it good that you can finish an easy run and just roll into a conversation without me going <sighs> out of breath? How like I was at the start of doing this whole training like seven weeks ago. End the run at the school. I've got to pick my boy up from nursery. I'm just cherishing these moments because I know I know how how long they don't last for. Anyway, good easy run that. Week three. Ready to take it on. That was a really tough workout, but I'm so glad I just got it in. The workout though, I'll tell you it was all right. See, I've done this workout before in 2021 when I was of similar fitness. So if I beat the runtime of 350 per kilometer, which is what I got last time, uh, and I'll be happy with that. The total workout was 5.85 kilometers. <sighs> Belting, average pace, four minute 32 second per kilometer including the recoveries i just got to do a cool down now and i'm done it's 20 past three in the morning i think because i went to sleep with the mindset of i can't wait to get up and get this done challenge wise for the workout it didn't bother me i didn't wake up thinking oh i woke up thinking let's do it now i feel like me i've got a major advantage over my day which is a feeling you can't beat and it's all done by half past three. Perfect. This morning, I had to get up early because work started before 5 a.m. So I had my alarm set for two, got up and got my session done. It was three by three, two, one with half recoveries. So what that means is three minutes, two minutes, one minute, 5K pace, and you do half recovery. So after the three minutes, you do 90 seconds. After the two minutes, you do one minute and after the one minute you do 30 seconds, then you repeat that three times. And that was what I was tasked with doing this morning. It was tough, but I got it done. And I actually look forward to getting it done, which I'm happy about. Seven kilometers, nice and easy. I've done this training block what I'm doing. I've done it before. I'm repeating what's worked for me in the past. Back in 2020, I put four stone on, didn't train for eight months. At the end of 2020, I started training proper, following a nice, decent plan. I'm basically starting now around the fitness I was then. I did a 5K then, at about 22, high 22 minutes, like I did uh, about four, four or five weeks ago. And then I did a three or four week training block, did another 5K in 20 minutes, 50. This time I did it in 2047, so high 20s and then I did four weeks training again then did another 5k and I went under 20 minutes so if you hear me referencing workouts like I'm comparing it to at a time when I was at a similar fitness it's exactly the same training block where I was more or less the same weight I think I'm a little bit fitter than I am than I, I am now than I was then but I, almost almost similar the workout I did on Wednesday, early hours Wednesday morning. I compared that to when I was of a similar fitness. I'm doing the same workouts at the same time. So it was exactly the same amount of days after the 5K when I did that workout last time to when I did it this time. And I'm following every run like clockwork. And it's what's worked for me before. It's what's gonna work for me again. I can almost predict to a degree what times I'll be running and when. Byron, I don't get ill or anything, but um, yeah, it's a good process. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Today, I'm not doing an interval session. It's gonna be like a hard effort. When I look back on my training, the training plan I'm following, this period of time on this day, I did a 10K in 43 minutes. I called it, I went off plan, because that wasn't my plan. My plan was to do 15 minutes easy and then 
25 minutes steady but I did this instead now I could do go back to the original plan what I should have done that day but keeping in line with following the same plan I followed last time to the sub 25k I'm going to attempt the same run I did so yeah, I think I averaged 4 minute 20 second kilometer pace for the 10k the 10k on that day so that's what I'm going to do today I've just done a one and a half kilometer warm up now we'll get on to the session Sorry, love. That was definitely a hard 10k. I tried to pace it evenly so I wasn't blowing up or going out quick. I wanted to try and keep 420 pace but I managed the actually negative split. My average pace when I went through 5k around 2120 was 416 per kilometre which is around 652 per mile, 653 and my average pace at the end of it for total was 415 per kilometre so I must have gone through the second 5k a little bit quicker and got proper happy with that my camera died but yeah I mean a good hard I would say I finished the last kilometer in four minutes five seconds on the 10th k I was pushing but I wasn't you know going for like oh this is it you know I'm gonna get a PB here so I wasn't pushing to that extent but I was just trying to keep that average pace under 415 I didn't want it creeping over 416 by you know creeping over 415 and going back to 416 by just thinking oh I've got this in the bag and taking the foot off the gas in the last K so I just wanted to put in a reasonable you know finish but I'm happy with that hopefully this all pays off next week when I do my 5k time trial and I oh, hopefully I'll just run under 20 minutes <laughs> then I can move on to the next target after that it might seem like I'm putting pressure on my shoulders by saying I'm comparing this workout to that workout and you know this is where I ran sub 20 last time am I going to do it this time I'm really not I'm, I'm gauging it by that by prediction but if I go over I go over for me I've been running long enough now to know that I'm not going to beat myself up over 5, 10, 20 seconds if that's what it is on the day that's what it is on the day and I'll just do it again another time and, and I'll get it the beauty of it is, is I know I'll get it. You know, six weeks ago, whatever it was when I ran that 22 minute, 20 second 5K and I was absolutely spent. Since then I've done interval training, I've done hard sessions where I've been running for two minutes at a certain pace, three minutes at a certain pace, and I've been running kilometers at a certain pace. So when I looked at my kilometers today and I thought I need to keep it 420, I knew mentally I could do that because I just drawn back on them times I've been running kilometers in 349 347 i'm thinking i've got to run 420s and i didn't even run 420s i ran quicker today because i just fell into a rhythm i fell into a rhythm today with me running that you keep you know you can't once you find that rhythm it's hard to slow it down and you're feeling comfortable you keep it like that and uh happy yeah very happy Long mate, continue.
110 kilo feels heavier than what it used to feel. <laughs> Let me tell you that right now. I might get 120, but I won't be going to 130. I can already feel it. long run today I'm gonna to do it in the gym bench pressing was interesting so last year in November before the Wimslow festive 10k where I did about 38 minutes I managed to bench press 150 kilo for one rep and yesterday I got 130 kilo for one rep so I've lost 20 kilo 20 kilogram of strength I mean I might have got 135 but it's very doubtful that was a struggle so let's just say I've lost 20 kilo on the bench press over 11 months I've not touched the weight for 11 months. Today I'm going to do the, the treadmill where I'm just going to run, measure my heart rate on the treadmill and just put the pace to like 540 kilometer pace and see if it goes below an average of 127 because that was what I got last time. session dog treadmill session done uh, 14 kilometers on the treadmill my watch actually clicked off a little bit quicker my watch said 15 but it was actually 14 wasp actually 14 and my heart rate was really low I think last time it averaged it 127 beats per minute for 13 kilometers on the treadmill at the same speed two weeks ago today it's averaged at 120 so that's like a difference of seven beats per minute which is massive two weeks my fitness is definitely moving in the right direction by me running my data me running times in sessions and just as yesterday doing a 42 minute 10k at 10k yesterday It's still five minutes off my best time, but it wasn't a PB attempt, it was just a fitness hard run. And my week's training has looked pretty good. If I look at my week's training and I, I, and I, and I analyze how I train and the sessions I do, Monday starts with a recovery day, then it'll go easy, then it'll go session and it'll look like going up a mountain then back down and then it'll go Thursday, Friday, easy, Saturday session, Sunday long run. So I do build back up to the volume with intensity as well the last four days of the week. And then that's why Monday has to be recovery. 